The Bitron C range of ultraviolet clarifiers are designed to keep pond water clear, whilst removing pathogens from the water. The UVC lamp causes algae particles to flocculate, creating larger particles which can then be removed in a pond filter. The result is noticeably clearer water, avoiding the green pea soup conditions that can occur, particularly during the summer months. The Bitron C features an automatic cleaning mechanism which constantly cleans the quartz sleeve, giving much higher efficiency over much longer periods. The automatic cleaning mechanism is powered by the water flow from the pump. Each Bitron C is fitted with an indicator light to show the lamp is functioning correctly and a safety cut-off device to avoid any danger of viewing the UVC bulb when not fitted inside the protective housing. An integrated bypass mechanism controls the water flow past the UVC lamp depending on the performance of the pump being used. If water passes the lamp too quickly, the efficiency is reduced. Bypass regulators are fitted to each of the two outlets, with a scale showing the pump performance for easy selection of the correct bypass configuration. Installation Firstly, remove all packaging and read the instruction manual carefully to familiarise yourself with the product and the accessories. The Bitron C range is designed to fit to any of the Awaza Biotech filters. They can also be used as standalone UVCs. In this situation, both outlets must be used to enable the bypass mechanism to operate efficiently. The Bitron must be fitted in a horizontal position with the feet downwards. Direct sunlight should be avoided. Only connect the power supply to the Bitron C when water is passing through it from the pump. To connect the hose to the inlet of the Bitron C, ensure the stepped hose tail is cut down to the correct size for the hose diameter being used. Once the hose tail is cut down, push the retaining nut over the hose tail. Push onto the hose and secure with a hose clip. Then fit the flat gasket into the retaining nut and screw onto the inlet connection. If the Bitron C is not being used in conjunction with an Owaza Biotech filter, the hose tail connections on each outlet should be fitted as per the main inlet. When connecting to an Awaza Biotech filter, retaining nuts and O-rings will be supplied with the filter to join the Bitron C to the filter. Push the flat gasket supplied with the Bitron over each outlet thread and push the outlet threads through the inlet holes of the filter. The retaining nut and O-ring should then be applied on the inside of the filter wall to lock into position. Once the Bitron is positioned correctly, adjust the rotary handles on each outlet to correspond with the flow rate of the pump being used. Both handles should be positioned on the same setting. This will ensure the correct water flow past the UVC lamp. When all connections are tightened, connect the power supply to the pump and wait for the unit to completely fill with water. Check all connections for leaks, then connect the power supply to the UVC. Check for UVC function through the inspection window. You should see an alternating light dark blue glow. If the blue glow is not alternating from light to dark, the pressure from the pump may not be enough to rotate the automatic cleaning mechanism inside the Bitron C. Disconnect the power supply to the Bitron, followed by the pump. Unscrew the inlet connection from the Bitron C. Insert the flow nozzle into the inlet and reconnect the inlet hose tail. Reconnect the power supply to the pump, followed by the UVC. The blue indicator light should now alternate from light to dark blue. Always consult a qualified electrician when installing any electrical equipment in your garden. And remember to disconnect the power supply before entering the water or performing any maintenance tasks on your pond and pond equipment. Maintenance Before performing any maintenance on your pond equipment, always disconnect the power supply prior to commencing any work. Firstly, remove the Bitron C from the filter it is attached to, or remove the outlet connections if being used as a standalone UVC. Disconnect the inlet connection, depress the safety engagement latch, and rotate the unit head in the direction of the arrow. 
Carefully pull out the UVC and cleaning rotor. Clean the cleaning rotor with clean water and a soft brush. Replace the cleaning rotor if you notice any signs of wear. Clean the inspection window on the inside of the casing with a soft cloth. To replace the UVC lamp, unscrew the quartz sleeve retaining nut and remove. Carefully remove the quartz sleeve and clean with a soft damp cloth. Carefully remove the UVC lamp and replace. The lamp should be replaced after 8,000 working hours. Replace the quartz sleeve and replace the retaining nut. Ensure the O-ring is located correctly on the head unit. Slide the cleaning rotor over the quartz sleeve and replace the unit into the casing. Align the depression on the housing with the ridge on the head unit and push until flush. Rotate the head unit until the safety engagement catch clicks into position. Reconnect the bitron to the filter or to the outlet hoses and reconnect the inlet hose. Reconnect the power supply to the pump and check for any leaks. Reconnect the power supply to the Bitron C and check for the function through the inspection window. The Bitron C range is designed to fit to any of the Oaza Biotech filters.